So latest development from Cameroon as it concerns the drama in football in that country. Let me quickly say a big thank you to a follower of mine who is Cameroonian, Bowen24, who has been giving me all of the updates from Cameroon, exclusive details of things going on between the Fekka Food, McBride and the Ministry of Sport. After that argument between Eto and McBride and the Ministry of Sport or the representative of the Ministry of Sport, Eto immediately appointed interim coaches, local coaches who are civil servants, of course, staff of the Ministry of Sports. Do you know what the Minister of Sports did? He immediately employed a policy of intimidation by immediately transferring these local coaches. The first guy was transferred to a village 1,000 kilometers away from the capital city, close to the border of Congo Brazzaville. And look at the village where he's now coaching, to almost, from almost coaching the national team to this village. And of course, look at the bus that they used in ferrying him to his place of work, a dilapidated bus. Now, the second guy was transferred, his name is David Padu. He was transferred to a village called Salapumbe, or whatever it's called, 500 kilometers away, very close to the border of Central African Republic. Having done this, the president of Cameroon decided to wade in for the sake of football in Cameroon. So he instructed Matt Bryce to go to and have a working meeting with the president of the FECA Food, which is Samuel Eto, with his two assistants only. Nobody from the Ministry of Sports should go with him and he should respect the authority of Eto, come to a truce with him and begin plans for their next two World Cup qualifiers. So a meeting was held between Eto and Matt Bryce and of course Eto apologized to him for the way he spoke with him and of course Matt Bryce also apologized to Eto for how he also responded to him. They had a friendly handshake, had a press conference and officially announced Matt Bryce as the coach of the Cameroon national team from the right source which is the Fekka Food and of course by president himself Samuel Eto. Now, take your mind back to that argument. You saw where Eto was exchanging words with the man in suit. That is the man representing the Ministry of Sports. That is exactly where the problem is coming from. So Eto's fight wasn't against Matt Price. Eto's fight was against the powers that be who are trying to control Eto, control football in Cameroon, obviously because football is where they earn a lot of money from government. But since Eto took charge, he blocked all the loopholes where they steal money from government and that has been the biggest problem. Eto actually sacked a few members of staff who were representative of the Ministry of Sports through these guys they were pilfering money. But Eto sacked them, the Ministry of Sports reinstated these guys. So you can imagine where Eto's anger is coming from. Interference. And that is why you saw him display what he did in that video and again he wasn't because of Matt Bryce but he wanted Matt Bryce to understand that they may have appointed you but you work under my authority and of course now they've come to a truce had a meeting instructed by the president and he has been told to respect the authority of the president of the FECA food and that is Samuel Eto. so I want to say congratulations to both of them but big congratulations to Eto for standing up against the powers that be. Otherwise, his authority as the president of the FECA foot would have been trampled upon and he will have no say over a coach coaching the national team of a country he presides over. So Eto seemed to be the winner here because the president has instructed the coach, albeit appointed by the Minister of Sports, to respect the president of the FECA foot. So credit to Eto for such a good fight. So congratulations to Eto, congratulations to Matt Bryce. I want to wish you guys all the best and I hope to see you in Mexico, Canada and the United States of America.